We're going to see now the morphological transformation. Morphological transformation is used to remove the noise from an image. Let's take an example. I have this blue marker and I created a mask to track only this object based on the, the color. And I'm going to show you now the mask. Okay. As you, we can see in this image, there is a lot of noise. For example, here we can see some white dots. Here there is a line, even here is taking something that we don't want. And then also the object inside, there are a lot of holes. So we basically have two main methods. One is erosion, which is used mostly to remove this noise, so in this case these white dots that we see here in these ones and then deletion. Deletion is used to fill the holes inside the object. Let's now see how it works first with some simple example of an image and then we will do it on real time on, on this video with the blue marker. So we import cv2, import numpy as np, let's load an image, mg cv2.im read, and the image will be orange.jpg, and let's read it in grayscale, cv2im read, underscore gray scale let's show the image cv2.im show uh, emg okay image and emg cv2.weight key 0 cv2.destroy all windows so here we have the orange. Okay, we need to know that to use this erosion and dilation transformations, we need to have a binary image. So it must be either black, the, the pixel must be either black or either white. Here and this image, it's not fine as we have different gradients of the colors. So let's create a threshold. Actually, let's create a mask. Okay, mask it's equals to cv2 dot threshold so threshold of the image let's give a value of 230 255 cv2 dot thresh binary inverse and let's show now the mask cv2 dot im show mask and mask okay here we have the mask this is a good example because now this image here we can apply the dilation method as you see there are holes inside the image that we want to remove so we, we want actually to say in a proper way to fill. We want to fill the holes. So it's dilation, it's equals to cv2 dot dilate the mask and kernel. Kernel is actually a square which we're going to create to define the size. So kernel it's equals to and p dot once we want to create a kernel of five by five and p dot u int eight so what we're going to say the holes which are smaller than this size are going to be filled by our code so let's now show 
the dilation cv 2im show dilation dilation and here we have our result so the, the kernel is dilating our image in this case the holes are smaller than the kernel size so for example if we take a smaller kernel like only two by two still we will have some hole the bigger the kernel the greater is going to be the dilation as you see let's take now a second example for the erosion method the erosion method is mostly used when you want to separate object from them let's for example take another image i have an image called tennis uh, actually not tennis but balls jpg a threshold of 250 let's show the image and the mask okay this is the the mask so in this mask we can see that some some balls here some circles are linked to together and then we have some small a few small dots close to the circles and we want to remove all that stuff uh, and also we want to separate properly the circles between them so let's apply the filter uh, actually not the filter the transformation erosion it's equals to cv2 dot erode mask and kernel I forgot to display it so cv2 dot im show erosion erosion and here you can see the difference so we have mask we have dilation and the erosion what else you can do okay let's now put again the kernel of five by five we can iterate more times so we can apply the erosion many times so it, it's like we erode the image then on that erode image we erode it again and so on and same it's for the, the dilation so we say iterations equals like let's say three it's like three times and you see that the more you apply it the more it is going to to be eroded like so i don't even know if this word exists in english eroded okay erosion let's now see these two filters applied on a real image uh, actually on real time we are working with color spaces so i'm going to copy the code that we created in some previous video of tracking object by color spaces and i'm, I'm going to work with this one so i'm going to delete this one and let's now apply the filter here so we have the mask Uh, not first I'm going to run so it's actually the, the the code that I was using at the first the beginning of the video to track this object so right now I'm going to apply the dilation and erosion of the mask let's first use erosion so we have erosion it's equals to CV2 dot erode 
mask then kernel let's create kernel it's equals to np dot once five five np dot u int eight and let's show the erosion cv2 dot im show erosion and erosion okay I don't care about result I care only about erosion and mask and this one to get the blue so let's do all the necessary settings and uh, there are even my glasses with blue light okay so we can see that the erosion method removes a lot of noise so all this almost disappear okay there is still something we can put a bigger kernel but at the same time there is a problem it, it is removing the inside so the holes that are inside are are bigger so it's not the proper method here let's try to use dilation dilation it's equals to cv2 dot dilate mask and kernel and I need to show it okay I don't care about the result let's now show cv2 dot in show dilation dilation again I have to do the same setting as before okay now we have we can see the difference erosion erodes so removes a lot of noise but removes also something that we need dilation fills the hole in the marker but also it's filling the noise so it's increasing the noise we have some two de derivative from this dilation and erosion method so we can first apply for example erosion so we have the mask uh, actually we apply for example erosion and then on this erosion we can apply dilation so we remove the noise and then we fill the holes we can do that manually or we can use already the built-in functions which does this which is called opening so it's cv2 dot morphology x on the mask then cv2 dot opening uh, actually I forgot the exact name okay it's morph open morph morph open and then the kernel so this is the opening opening method so first erosion and then dilation and let's show cv2.im show opening 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 okay again I need to set the color range properly to get only the blue
So we have the mask, the erosion, dilation and opening. As you see the opening is the clearest one in this case. We could like iterate it more or put a bigger kernel in this case. We can do for example iterations let's say two times and okay each time here I have to set the proper color range and let's take opening well ah, now it, it looks really nice okay the mask I need to clear it even more And we have the opposite method, which it would be a terrible idea in this case, but I'm going just to show you, which is closing, which does the, does the opposite. First, applies the deletion and after the erosion. cv2.morphology x mask cv2.more close kernel iterations. Let's leave it blank. And cv 2im show closing closing oh, I, what is actually okay this is the closing let's just compare the closing with the opening We have original mask, closing open. I can still even work on the original mask with the color space settings. Okay, probably. And it's all for this video. Thanks for watching.